Hi, I'm Becky Roseman, wildlife biologist with the Mississippi Bat Working Group, and today I'm going to talk to you about tricolored bats. Although tricolored bats only account for about 5% of the bats captured during our mist net survey, they are usually the most frequently encountered bats during our culvert blitzes. Tricolored bats are the smallest bat found in Mississippi. They have a total body length of three to three and three quarters inches, a wingspan of eight and a quarter to 10 and a quarter inches, and weigh three to eight grams. Their name refers to the color of the hair on their backs. Individual hairs have three colors. They are easily recognized by their pink forearms that contrast with dark wing membranes. Tricolored bats are found throughout the eastern United States, extending north into Canada and south into Mexico. They are found across Mississippi, although there are still several counties without records for tricolored bats. They prefer open forests with large trees and woodland edges. Tricolored bats breed in the fall before entering hibernacula, the roost where they will spend the winter. Some breeding will occur within the hibernaculum itself. Winter roosts for tricolors include caves, abandoned mines, rock crevices, and man-made structures, such as culverts and bridges. In Mississippi, they typically enter these roosts in October and leave in April or May. However, throughout the winter, they may rouse every week or two. During this time, they may move locations within the roost and may even leave the roost for short periods to forage during a warm spell. In the spring and summer, tricolored bats primarily roost in clumps of leaves in treetops, though they will occasionally be found in caves or buildings. Females will form maternity colonies of up to 35 females. This small maternity colony was found under the eaves of a porch in Tallahatchie County. Females typically have twins and newborn pups are pink and furless. They grow rapidly and are able to fly when they are about four weeks old. You can see several young pups here under the females. Tricolored bats are most active just after sunset and around midnight. Like all Mississippi bats, they are important predators of insects and feed primarily on small insects, including leafhoppers, ground beetles, true bugs, ants, flies, and small moths. Populations of tricolored bats have decreased in recent years, particularly in the Northeast. This decline is believed to be largely a result of white nose syndrome. White nose syndrome is caused by a fungus and causes bats to become active more frequently during hibernation. Bats use up their winter energy reserves and die before spring. Because of these recent population declines, tricolored bats are currently being considered for listing as either threatened or endangered. If they are listed, additional steps will be taken to protect them and their habitats. I hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit about tricolored bats. And remember, you can help protect this species by not disturbing them in their roosts.